Now, over the past 12 months, we've moved the conversation between London government and national government. We've moved it on from centralisation by default. Are we seeing the permanent transformation of the political landscape? My name's Jules Pipe, I'm the directly elected Mayor of Hackney and the Chair of London Councils. This is the London Council Summit 2014 and it's the 13th annual summit that we've held. This is an opportunity for councillors and others to come from across London to meet together to share ideas, share best practice, look at back at the achievements that have happened over the last year in local government and also look forward to the future to work out what's going to happen and the challenges they're going to face in the future. What are the key priorities for your borough? Well, Barking and Dagenham is the new London frontier as far as I'm concerned. It's London's got to go east, it can't go northwest or south. And Barking and Dagenham hasn't had any major development there since the 1920s. So it's about bringing in the new infrastructure we need with the new investment um, to support the 196,000 people already there, but also saying to London, we want to play our part in this mega city. I think all of the main parties really need to set out their stalls on devolution. I think we're only going to have viable public services in the future if there's greater devolution down to local government working in partnership with regional and central government to deliver those services. Well, major problem for us is uh, we're a very small borough, high density uh, accommodation, lots of pressure, very difficult to keep people in the middle, the people who uh, are eligible for social housing we have and the very richest we have to keep people on middle incomes is terribly difficult. So looking at different forms of housing, how we could be looking at renewing our uh, council owned accommodation, these are all these are really big priorities for us. The next few years are going to be very, very different because we can no longer afford to do all the 800 services that we do at the moment. That doesn't necessarily mean that we close things down, but it means us having a genuine conversation with our community, with the people that live in our borough and saying, right, what's important to you? What do you want us to carry on doing? What could we do differently and what would you like to do? Obviously, uh, healthcare uh, is a huge issue. We've got... Um, four of our accident and emergency units that two have been closed, two more are planned to be closed. Um, but we've got huge challenges with integrating health and adult social care and all the budget pressures that come with a increasing elderly population. Tell me what you've enjoyed about today. It's very interesting. It's always good to come in here and debate. It's good that people have given up their Saturdays to come here. It's particularly good for the new councillors who were elected last time round that they're coming in and they're getting to meet people and hear divergent points of view. And uh, it's an interesting time to be in local government. Well, I think it's brilliant to see so many councillors from different boroughs and different parties uh, so that we can share and uh, express you know, our, what we're experiencing in our own boroughs. One of the interesting things that came out, out of that session was um, how there is an anti-politics frenzy around and how we need to address it. And I think that's really important because we need to engage people, we need to engage the youth as well in this country. It's always good when councillors can talk with each other and can talk with people from business. Uh, nobody has got a monopoly of knowledge and experience. We can all learn from each other. We can find out new ways of doing things, new methods of working together. Technology is shaping our lives in so many ways and there's some new technology that can greatly improve the way that services are delivered in London. We're at the London Council's uh, Summit today and it's a really good event for us so it's an opportunity for Thames Water to promote our two biggest campaigns um, which are around Bin It Don't Block It. So this is our fat trap where we're encouraging residents to pour fat oil and grease um, not down the tap so we want them to go into our fat trap. Um, and then our other big campaign is around water efficiency. This is about encouraging residents to use less water or use water more wisely. We run time credits programmes across all across the UK, across England and Wales. Um, and we're, it's all about getting more people involved in the community. We've already been speaking to people from Waltham Forest, from Barnet, from Lambeth. Um, and there's lots of energy in the room, lots of excitement about getting more people involved in communities, giving time into public services and really changing the way that public services work. 
I'm hopeful that national politicians of all parties will increasingly understand that delivering high quality public services that deal with the challenges facing communities means the devolution of the money and programs that are currently run less effectively from a national level. There's much to do between now and the general election and many people still to convince the current government, those that home to hope to form the next government. Then of course there is the growing list of those who hope to become the next mayor of London. Why should they care? Well, they should care because this is about being able to do much more with a great deal less. This is about keeping this a world-class city that can grow and cope with its growth. This is about standing up for London and Londoners and making the city work for the communities that live here. So you can rest assured that we at London Councils will continue to make that case in the months ahead. Thank you very much.